So yeah, we're doing more Animal Crossing. I think today we are, uh... I'm debating whether or not I should go look for a villager. I might get more Nook Mals, or I might do more building, or I might... Um... Do... The hunt, we'll see. All right, hello there, everyone. Okay. Yeah, the cafe is open. I'm still thinking. Oh, coffee's up now. Now we actually have coffee. cooking. be pushed any further unless I do that. Hmm, can't seem to grab on. And as long as there's overlap. See if I can place it again. Okay, well, I figured as much, but I'll put one here. want the illusion of depth. Then I guess when the house is there, it'll, it'll look fine. I'll push it one forward. That works.
Oh, well. So it's not the worst thing in the world to have it up here. Alright, so Audi has moved. That's good to see. Nothing's really changed here, has it? Okay, I did get a pink one here. Hang on. I need that. The image, where is it? That. I just want to make sure that that's in the right spot. I think it is. Looks like I need to move it up one, but that's okay, as long as it's grown there. people have the patience for this process. I mean, I do processes that take ages, but this, I don't know. But I will do it. For once. This hasn't changed.
Yeah? Hang on. Okay. I kind of wish they had a less subtle way to show that they've been warded. I might do some cleanup of the trees. Just so it's less chaotic. <laughs> what is that album art? spider decoration. This is probably a good time to go island hopping then. Because with every island I hop to, it'll give me bugs. A long last, the cafe is open for business here in Shamblonia's museum. I cannot possibly thank you enough for bringing Bruce to us, but I shall try at the very least. Ahem. From the end of my beak to the furthest tips of my tail for this, thank you, Will. Now, I imagine you'd like to know where the cafe is. Upstairs to the left, you can't miss it. Oh, and just like our museum, the cafe is open and Brewster is eager to serve any time, day or night. So whether it's for the exhibits or a perfect or for a perfect cup of coffee, please visit. Okay. All of these. Start the painting. That is serene painting and genuine, no less. Yes, indeed, it is more magnificent than I imagined. I shall treat this donation with the utmost care, Al's honor. I shall also leave details. It's kind of a shame that 
they didn't really add the fact thing about it. Ah, uh, the graceful ballerina of the Crustaceous, the Iguanodon. Cretaceous. When I say it was graceful, I mean by the ahem, rather low bar set by other herbivores. Apparently it would sim nimbly dodge the attacks of predators and fight back with its thumb claws. It could even walk on two legs when it wanted to. Uh, truly it was the most elegant and lift of the dinosaurs. There you have it. Parasol. Another one done. Okay. Like to think of it as the base with the golden tones. You see the three foot structure of hollow bone atop its head may have been an elaborate noisemaker. As a dyed in the feathers optimist and music fan, I like to think it serenaded the late Cretaceous. Dinosaur track? Okay. Dinosaur tracks are fossilized footprints left on the bottom of the sea or on soft earth. From these fossils we can deduce the creature's territory range as well as its relationship with its herd. It has become possible to work out the creature's size, distinctive gait, and shockingly, walking speed. These trace fossils are like social media feeds, enabling us to follow the daily lives of the dinosaurs. The goldfish. Pop eyed goldfish have, as the name suggests, huge round eyes, but as babies, they look like other goldfish. As they grow, their eyes begin to pop out and they gain their who distinct appearance. Imagine the poor fish fancier who unknowingly bought one. Their eyes might well pop out just as far. The Neon Tetra. This is Neon Tetra. Yes. The Neon Tetra is a marvel of the tropical fish world. Just look at how tiny it is and how very filled with neon. Imagine its environment must be just as flashy as it is for it to have developed such colors. Okay, but I'll get knock miles for this, just... First time. Thanks for passing that message on, back on that remote island. If you ever find yourself in need of a cup of coffee, just swing by. Coffee's 200 bells, care for a cup? Yes. Sure. Here you go. One cup of the house special. Drink up and enjoy. Yes. I'm blissing out on this coffee right now. The scent alone is enough to wake me up. Cool. Thank you very much. Wait, really? There's no dedicated... Okay. I thought there'd be a dedicated, uh, special thing. 
Ah bon. I mean, I've almost got this complete. The problem is it's too big. So I've decided this is impractical. I think I'll go with the Anklia. That I think works out the best. T-Rex is too big as well. Like these two are nicely sized that they'll both fit. Space out and bought a second butterfly fish model. I don't know what to do. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be using two of these things at once. Do you want them? That's honestly not bad to put in front of the museum. Oh, you can't actually place it. Can only go on a wall. The hot item is rocking chair, wooden chest. at the campsite. They're playing. These are less necessary now. Washed up gyroid.
We ran in we ran another tailor shop like this in a different place before we came here. That was the shop our late parents left us. But then Label went on her journey and all of her other friends set off try to try new things. So we decided to get a fresh start too. That's how we came to be here on Shambloni. And coming here was certainly the right to call. The scenery is great and you can't beat the neighbors. But I have to admit, I do miss our old store sometimes. I do too. We ran that old place for quite a while, so it's filled with good memories. But it's still here. It's still there, and we can visit it whenever, so let's just focus on making our new shop even better. Good point, sis. Let's just keep working hard. Good old Mabes. Maybe... Oh, she's really giving it her all. I have to admit, I know just what she means about missing our old shop, but at the same time... I'm so, so glad we came to this island. I finally feel like we have a family again. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're definitely part of our family. Totally, you're like our sibling with different quilling. Thanks a bunch. This looks funny. Very color coordinated. Okay. I have to chop down a tree. I'll chop down a tree here and place the money tree here. There we go. All the money trees are lined up. chair and treasure chest with the hot items. I get the feeling I probably won't be able to do much of it, but we'll see.
Tent of flowers. Okay. Missing. Hang on. Oh, wooden chest is this? I see. That's the one. I expected like a treasure chest. I don't know why I thought that. Let's make another one of these. I guess selling stuff to flick counts. Just catch bugs. It's the easiest way to get it. Assuming I don't mess it up. Okay, well, that's another ticket.
cut it's kind of good timing we need to sell stuff is that I thought it was going to be something sizable. I mean, I think these are worth quite a bit. There's multiple, so why not? with the hot item sale it'll, it'll be worth it. No, not those. I uh, guess it's just this for now. That almost got me the full amount. Where are you? You're here. May as well. Oh, hey, remember me, Flick? The guy who loves bugs in all their skittery, chittery, sometimes glittery glory? Still looking for my soul bug, the one to be my artistic inspiration. Look me. Yeah. Commission. <laughs> Noble Tarantula, can you part with three of them? Yes. Scored a commission, I mean, um, and so our contract is bound, human. Already I feel the all-consuming fires of the creative inferno warming my be cold and blood. When I've completed my labors as midwife to the muse, I shall ship you the tarantula by mail. Okay, that wasn't actually that much. Alright, but that's all I needed, I think. Cat oh, wow, it's a hell of a one to get. I 
May as well. Good evening to you. Don't you love an evening walk, Toasty? I'm glad weather like this. I'm glad for weather like this. That's perfect for air drying my laundry. Good evening to you. Don't you love an old walk? Yep. Thank you, Alice. Um, that's some timing. Excellent. Impeccable timing. Spend bells, I'll get customization kits. Get the easy ones out of the way. Wait, I didn't spend enough? Could have sworn I would have. Another hot item. Make sure this doesn't break. Not enough to craft. Okay. It's fine. 
Money. Oh, nice. thinking about whether or not I should go island hopping. I mean, I could very well get what I want right away, or it could be like an unmitigated disaster. It's a massive bulldozer. Another customization one. I could probably get that done just by getting bugs. They count. I think the easiest way to do this is just... Look for a wasp nest.
I don't know, this can also work as well. Forgot about the produce. Garbage pail. Goes the other one. May as well see Audi while I'm here. Yeah, not cooking. Or crafting. I'm so happy that you came! What's the latest? Did you know I'm basically a beach volleyball pro? Well, we should hit the beach and play. Sure. Yeah, I knew you agree, you're the best. Having fun right next to the ocean, it's like all the little things that bother me just go away. I thought it was actually going to happen. This will be worth something. No, I'm not sure if I'm still in love with my emblem blazer, but then again, maybe I am. What do you think? You're in love. You know what, you're right, but I think I'm gonna give it away anyway. Yeah, yeah. That means I'm giving it to you. Oh, 
Yes. Okay, in that case, I'm keeping the produce for cooking. Customize items, Atlas more. I hope I have enough room for all this. Customize, not craft. So far, all the ones I've gotten have been pretty straightforward. How many tickets do I have? Oh wow, now it's... I have seven. <laughs> Plus over 20,000 miles. Hmm. Thinking about it. Yeah, that's not happening. Well, I gotta move another villager to the north side of town. So I'll do that while I go buy that ticket.
Okay. Uh, crawfish. That one should be easy. Layout changes. Island home. Alice. Yep. I think that covers everything. So, Alice, do you want to move? I will. Thanks, you should move. Yes. Moving my entire home sounds like it'd be thrilling. I'd love to have you move it, Governor. Alright then, sounds great. You just leave the rest to me and our friend Will. Okay. I need to think how I'm going to reorganize this right side of the island. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was never going to work. Okay. I've set this up now. Yeah, that works. Uh, I should probably clean that up. Not yet. Just wanted to see how much was left. Thanks for coming by, bud. Have you been seeing the pumpkin decorations of Halloween spirit is in the air? Much as I like Halloween, it's pumpkins that I love this time of year, bud. I thought she'd be crafting. Okay. Uh, I'm still debating. If I should go for it or not. I need to think how I'm going to split up the land on this side of the island. Like, I almost need to kind of draw it out. Because I've only got one more usable lot up the top. And I guess for this to work, I have to move Moose to that spot, even though I'm getting rid of Moose later. Hmm. Did 
The other thing is, as much as I like these here, it almost makes sense for them to be up here. Because here, the land is not going to be plentiful. I'll have a think about it more. I'm going to go visit Harv and get another vendor going. I'm not sure I'm going to get all the other ones. This is still here. This was legit. It doesn't have the tongue. This one was legit as well. <laughs> You're not gonna regret this. I think that's the last thing you want to hear when you buy something. Hey, I've got big news for you today. Well, Reese and Cyrus's customization shop is now open. So nice to meet you. I'm Reese, and this here is my darling, Psy Guy. Like Half said, we're thrilled to be opening up a new shop here. My Psy Guy can customize just about anything you bring him. Oh, come on, don't go over promising things. I'll do my best. Sorry, just caught me off guard there with that intro. Let's start over. The name's Cyrus. Now, as far as my lovely Reese mentioned, I can customize darn near everything. Just bring it in and I'll have a look. Gosh, you two lovebirds are just adorable, and you run a business together? That's remarkable. I'll leave it to you. Hope you enjoy the new shop. What was the, what was the other one? Oh, yeah, for plants. Like, eh. We'll go with Sahara. And I'll leave it for a little while. I can't think- I, I, I might be boring, but there's just no other hairstyle. Okay.
you're not crafting either. Aha, 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 welcome to my snack castle. This, yep. It's hard to stay chill with so much on my plate, you know? It's like, how's a guy supposed to decide what to have for dessert? I suppose some creme caramel should, uh, would be real great. But then I got to thinking, I could really go for some cotton candy instead. Life is full of real tough decisions. Tough, but delicious decisions. You want to play with my pizza surprise box? <laughs> I always have to do that every time I'm here. Yeah, you made it. You know what Shambolonia really needs? A special night for everyone to dress up. Call it Pietro Night. No one's crafting. Alright, this has to be it, surely. There we go. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something right now. What are you up to? I'm currently crafting stack chop- Uh, I think I got this already. Yeah. Nope, that was worth the time. I don't think there's going to be a clean way for me to lay things out. I think either way it's going to be messy. I'm just gonna put the house here. Screw it. Alright, this is gonna happen. I'm gonna have to move them around anyway, like I don't think there's any clean way I can do this. Sell some land. Yep. Alright, it, it begins. I hope I don't regret this decision, but I feel like I have enough knock miles to do this. So, I mean, just place it here-ish. I'm gonna move it anyway. Yeah. Hello, Krelver. How's it going? Welcome. Alright. 
just quickly sell this thing. I'll take a one ticket at a time. Sold. Just woke up. What time is it where you are? I am doing okay. Just kicking back after a day of work. Alright. Let's begin! 10.55, nice. Good sleeping. What am I up to? I am now gonna start looking for a new villager. I don't know which one I'm gonna look for specifically, but I got a bunch of miles and tickets, so... One way or another. Whichever one I feel like... I look at it, and I'll be like, oh, I want this villager. Don't know until I see it. Alright. But most likely this process is going to take multiple hours, so... Oh. Uh, I'm only playing offline at the moment, so not going to be doing anything else. Sorry. Okay, first up. I mean, this is nice. Don't mind. Could replace, uh... Because I have to go through the process of replacing. I like the colors. be funny if I <laughs> replace. But then it's just more effort I have to go to to get this village. I'll think about it. I already have two that I want to make move out. It's not so much that the color is red, it's more the color is varied. It's like bright. I haven't seen all the villagers, so I'm not really sure who Cherry is. Like, I haven't played as much Animal Crossing as some. I want to keep it as a surprise. Just like last time, it's, I get a good choice right away, and then do I make myself regret this decision if I don't get it? Yep. 
ça. I thought it might have been, uh, big fish. The only thing I don't like about this villager is just... I guess... Feathers on the head. But everything else I like. Kind of looks like a Rosella, which is an Australian bird. I can do. slip just slightly too much. Maybe these are worth a bit. I mean, I have Flick on my island. It's worth a shot. I'm gonna say no to this. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting how this goes. out of the way so I can keep rolling with those. Ah! 
Oh, nice. I needed to catch that. Awesome. Customize items. Alright, I'll customize the shovel and the rod when I go back. Ah, doesn't count. Oh, all right. Well, I'll go back now. Shovel in that. Yep. I'm gonna regret this, but yes. I went to get a drink <laughs> whilst the screen was loading. <sighs> okay. Well, it's only one ticket so far. Where is Flick? They were hovering around this part of the island. Okay, I got an idea. This is just gonna make my life easier. Just for thumbnail bait later. <laughs> Hang on, do it again. Yeah, that works. Then people know that I'm looking for a villager. Okay, it doesn't sell for that much. Wasn't expecting that much anyway. Nah. Hang on. Oh, where are the customization kits? being lazy.
Dops. Äh, ne. See how long it's gonna be. Shovel. Just because I've used it a little bit. Keep earning them. Okay, that one's gonna happen on the island. While I'm at it. Oh shit. Okay, strategy. Oh. Just. <laughs> that was unbelievably lucky. Where did Flick go? Flick was around here. That is really good. Close. Nearly there. A spare axe. Just so I can just, yeah, pick them up. One at a time. So then I have, uh, I don't have an inventory slot. Because sometimes you do get the island where there's, uh, water bugs. And if I get that island, that's a hundred thousand I make off that island. Just on its own. For some reason I don't harvest that. That's okay.
Let's just do this real quick. Is it? Nice. That's going to be done tomorrow. Very elaborate front yard. Okay. I'm going to sell these carrots real quick. Number two. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Always worth it. I'm just going to sell it right away so I have inventory free. I mean, if I wanted to make money, I should stay on the island and just keep catching those bugs. It's a bamboo island, so this one's going to be quick. Oh, it's like... Don't like... Well... Jitters. It's the eyes. <laughs> it's the eyes. I mean, definitely looks very jittery. I'll, I'll give it that. off this island quickly.
My plan as well is to uh, amass a bunch of wood and then just use it to create chests before uh, things close. So I'll also make sure future hot items of the day be in plentiful capability of crafting. Balloon. Okay. Back we go. Okay, I haven't had to start. I'm just using the ones that I had already. Catch bugs, alright. Well, that's just gonna happen naturally on its own because I'll be constantly doing that. Oh, um, I'm just going to drop them here. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Another loading screen. I'll pick them up next time. Okay. 
Island number three. It's gonna be funny if this ends up the same way where I just regret not going with the first one I encountered. Okay, this one actually has trees. Good, that's out of the way, nice and early. Ugh, it's fucking Colton again. <laughs> Stop turning up! I left you behind a new leaf. There is no way he's moving in again. I thought I'd gotten something different, but nope. I think this will work out because if I get a lot of wood whilst I do this, then at the end of the night when I craft all these chests, I sell them, they're like, what, 2,000 a pop? Either way, it's money. These islands are going to be very, very lucrative. I will make sure that I get the most out of this. Okay. Hey, Jacob, what's up? Uh, not a lot, just looking for a new villager. So that's probably going to be the rest of my evening, most likely. How about yourself? Oh, we ran out of space. Okay, don't do that again. Yeah. Knowing my luck, this is all I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening. I don't mind Colton, it's just the running joke. It was the scam artist from the previous island or town I had. Hey, crawler. Welcome back. Do I have, uh... What, like... 26,000 knock miles, and then I had seven tickets that I bought, so we'll see what this, what this gets me. I haven't looked at all the villages, so I'm kind of just winging it. I'll let the game surprise me. I'll know when I see it. I'll be like, yep, that's who I'm going with. I just got Bug Island, I just realized. I think this is Water Bug Island. If that's the case, I might drop everything, because this is going to be worth a lot of money. I 
I have Flick on my island, so... It is definitely worth doing this. Let's just see. Maybe coincidence? Gotta hit the hay soon. Oh yeah, what time is it? Yeah, this is this is Waterbug Island. Okay. Four thirty in the morning. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, that sounds like a good idea. All right. Well, if this is. Waterbug Island. Let me just drop the unimportant stuff. I mean, this is not that important. Guess you're a weirdo. Not really. <laughs> a lot of people do that. You'd be surprised how common it is, particularly on Twitch. I, I just have a mix of insomniacs and people that get up early. I mean, even me, like, I don't start unwinding until about midnight. Just always been a night owl. As long as you get some sleep, and it's decent enough, it's fine. These things are worth 3,000 bells each, so... You better believe I'm getting them. in a spot I can't reach. There we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's just leave that for a minute. This is such an awkward island. why I appreciate the, uh, the Kappen Islands a bit more. Because they have those little bits of land in the middle so you can just hop across every river. Hey, come on. <laughs> you know when I hop across this thing, it's gonna move across. Yeah, there we go. I've played this game enough to know that that's gonna happen. How many more? Uh, 14. Okay. I think even the fruit is not worth it. Like, one of these bugs is worth more than the fruit. What do I got? 
campfire cookware. That's actually kind of nice for decorating. Played New Leaf and Wild World. Which one's Wild World? I only played this one as my first Animal Crossing game, and then I went to check out New Leaf just because people were saying that New Leaf was really good. I can see why. I still like this one overall for all the town customization stuff. But New Leaf definitely has more stuff to do. So whatever they do next, I hope it's a mix of the two. Was here. Wild World is on the DS. Oh, that's probably why I haven't heard of it. There's rumors floating around that they might be remaking the GameCube game, which wouldn't surprise me. Nintendo's been doing that a lot lately. Instead of putting GameCube games on their online service, they're just remaking them or remastering them. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think it was, I thought it was just like a random rumor, but if you look at what they've been doing lately, like, look at all the GameCube games they've released. It doesn't make sense that they're gonna put them on the online service anymore. It's like, they've done Metroid Prime 1, Metroid Prime 2 is confirmed that it's gonna happen, Mario Sunshine got done through the collection, Pikmin 1 and 2 got done. Uh, what else? There's others. Brain is a little fried, but, like, a lot of GameCube game. Oh, Thousand Year Door. That's the next one that's going to happen. But a lot of the big GameCube games have gotten re-released. Wind Waker technically did on the Wii U. But... They could always still bring that to the Switch. I just don't know if they will. I hope they do. Trying to buy a Game Boy, any tips? Yeah, don't rush. That's the simple thing I can tell you. Is like, when it comes to old consoles right now, there's a lot of people trying to get them. And so, there are people that have a business selling stuff on eBay or like retro consoles in general, and they'll try and charge a ridiculous price. Just take your time, be patient, you'll find something that's worthwhile. Also depends how much money you have to spend. If money is not an issue, I would highly recommend the Analog Pocket. Though not a Game Boy, it plays Game Boy. Game Boy Advance, and it's like, probably one of the best devices I own.
It depends what we're talking about. Like a DS Lite is also another way to do it. But if you want specifically a Game Boy, just because you want a Game Boy. It's, it's hard. But if you just want to play Game Boy games, you can do that through a multitude of different ways. You have the DS Lite. You have the Game Boy Player on the GameCube, if that's, like, more accessible. But if you specifically want the experience of the Game Boy Color, then yeah. Or the GBA. I guess it depends what Game Boy you're talking about. It's a good time to look into it. I mean, not only are there uh, a lot of games already, but there's a bunch of people making new games for the Game Boy. It's become a pretty common thing. They were here a minute ago. Oh, there we go. I took a swing. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Uh, this island has sidetracked me a little, but it's worth it. It's just the bells. Think of the bells. Yeah, when it comes to buying old games and consoles, just be patient. There are some things where, granted, you know, it's just because they're old that unfortunately they're just going to cost as much as they do to get an original one, but... In general, like... You just have to be very, very patient. Particularly stuff like Pokemon. Pokemon's just annoying because those games are like one of the largest selling games of all time and yet eBay is still like try to charge you an arm and a leg for all those games. And it's not like they're rare, it's just they're Pokemon games. They know they can get away with it. So, yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, I should have gone across. This river's so awkward. Am I villager hunting? I was. But then I got this and Flick is on my island, so... I'll just hop across. It's alright, nearly, nearly done. <laughs> no, it's not coming this way. Alright, screw it. Just leave it. There are plenty more bugs in the sea. Bugs in the river, I should say. Gotta go. Alright, Jacob, no worries. Have a good night.
Oh. There we go. Yeah, look who it is. It's Colton. <laughs> I wish I could just tear, tear down this mountain. <laughs> My favorite, yeah. I can't believe this. This two, this two of them. They've put themselves in a spot that is just difficult to get to. Okay, thank you. started looking at computer stuff today and places have started stocking the parts but not the place that I want to get it from I'm just waiting for everything to line up but it looks like it's gonna happen soon like one place had more or less what I wanted, except one thing, and that one thing I was like, eh, I'll wait. It was just the graphics card. They didn't have, uh, like a particular type I wanted. And, I mean, it probably would be fine, but it's just one of those things that in the past I've had friends have bad experiences with this particular maker of graphics cards. So, I just had to, like, yeah. Because <laughs> it's basically, what kind of brand is it? I don't even know. I have to look it up. Like, it's not a brand that I remembered, and I'm like, wait a minute. I remember someone got this brand and had problems with it. And I double-checked. I'm going for an RTX 4070, so, you know, it's going to be, like, pristine. But it's the manufacturer of the card that I'm wary about. I haven't bought a computer in seven years, so, you know. This is going to be a sizable upgrade. It'll let me do a bunch of other stuff with the stream. Plus, because I work with, um... I use computers for work, so... It can count as, like, a half tax deduction thing. Because you can only claim for half of it. As I'd be like, half is for, for personal and half is for work. It's gonna be a good upgrade. I just... I really want to do it. I just, yeah. Ah. <sighs> It's feeling its years when I try to do streams at 1440. Where's Flick? Oh, there you are. Okay, uh, bug to sell. Yeah, look at that. Okay. 
Okay, I have money again. I also have the nighttime ordinances, and so the shops aren't going to close early. I have multiple islands. Uh, I sort of. Because I had another switch. And then, uh... I got the OLED model, so... Because the island didn't transfer. Um... Just buy this, actually. I'm gonna be lazy. Plant flower seeds, okay. Your daughter asks, what's my run of Wind Waker? That's been your nightly thing. Uh, have, did I say anything bad in Wind Waker? Shit. <laughs> but, like, um, I'm trying to think if I said anything, like, not suitable for younger audiences. Man, I, I really don't remember. Like, I, I probably have. You're very curious about the pineapple watermelon drink. Oh, that's an energy drink we have in Australia. It's called V. So far, it's okay. Sometimes it can go off the rails. I mean, you've been here. <laughs> What's it called? It's called V. Just the letter V. It's very nice. I'm not usually one for energy drinks because they're very sugary, but this one, it's a sugar-free one, and it's more of a fruit taste than anything. It doesn't taste artificial. Even though it is. <laughs> but... They also have this new one that's, um, an apple lemonade that's quite good. Just finished 600 hits on the old guy. Oh, right, I remember doing that. <laughs> and I, I put the music on from A Link to the Past. Just to get me through it. Oh, jeez. That was the only way to just I just was in the mind state of okay, this is a this is a boss. Did I ever go back to get one thousand? No. <laughs> I mean I know I can punish myself sometimes with games, but no. I'm curious if I can plant stuff on the other island, because if I can... I know how I'm gonna do this. I'll just plant the flowers and then I can take them to the island. It's like the Captain Toad thing, I... Remember the Captain Toad thing? <laughs> I haven't gone back. The minigame in that. Nope. No, just let it be. I was close. I was. I think I looked up the reward and I thought, oh, it's not worth it. It's a zebra. I mean, well, yeah, it's a zebra. It's a zebra. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Oh, it works. 
Nice cheese. Zebra! <laughs> Honestly, one of the most confusing things growing up. In schools, they're telling us to say Z. And then on Sesame Street, it says Z. Wait, I should have the net out. I shouldn't be doing this just outright. That's like... Peppa Pig saying Zebra. Well, yeah, I guess it depends where the show is made. You hate Peppa Pig? <laughs> the character or the show? Or both? There's an episode they don't show in Australia where Peppa Pig makes friends with a spider and the whole thing is don't be afraid of spiders. So obviously they don't air that here because that's not the right attitude you should have when you live in a country where tiny spiders will mess you up. Not all. Like, okay, to be fair, it's, it's not a large amount of them, but... You, you can't roll the dice. I also read that, um, I don't know how true this is, this might be something that's just, I want it to be true, but episodes of The Simpsons, ones that have taken place in other countries, usually the countries that they take place in ban that episode, they don't show it, except Australia. We're proud of our Simpsons episode. It's, again, it's just too bland. It's like when I got the basic bear and the basic horse and... You didn't watch The Simpsons as a kid, really? Was just never got into it or just weren't allowed? Because there was a period where we weren't allowed to watch The Simpsons. Just because of the whole, uh... Homer strangling Bart thing. But then, eventually, it's just, yeah. The ban got lifted. Didn't watch. I mean, that's fair. It depends when... Because The Simpsons... Kind of... After a certain point... I don't know. They're just... They're okay. They're not... Great. At a certain point, people, I feel, move to Spongebob instead of The Simpsons. <laughs> I had one of The Simpsons- I still have it, actually. I have one of the Simpsons games for the NES. It is such a horrible game, but I enjoyed it as a kid. Very bad game. Not a good game. But I had fun with it because it was one of the few games we owned. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch Spongebob. I've seen bits and pieces, but I haven't seen a lot of it, and I feel like it's something I should watch. At some point. Okay, well, I got everything I wanted. Yep. 
This one was quick. I gotta go watch the old ones, yeah. The problem is nowadays on streaming services, it's just hard to pick up something. I'd have to see if something has the complete series. But also, I like to watch through things and not stop. It's on Paramount. Oh, perfect. I got Paramount. Um, so I'm going through One Piece at the moment. And I I'm, I'm there. I'm like at the current saga in One Piece. So I've definitely put in the time. I'm almost, almost caught up with it. Oops, not that. It's just, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> it's a ball. Do I look like a sports person? Sports ball man. Sports ball man. Did I watch all the skip fills? Ah, uh, yes and no. Also, hello, quiet star. So, I watched everything according to Crunchyroll, just in the order it presents it, but I didn't do, like, there were certain episodes that were recap episodes, 100% recap episodes, I didn't watch those, or the ones that are, I guess, movies, because they're not really canon. And there were certain episodes where it was like, one minute was new footage, and then it would show ten minutes of a flashback, then go back to present, then another ten minutes. It's fine. It wasn't too bad. Like, Dragon Ball is worse. I watched the original run of Dragon Ball. I have, I have patience. I was surprised that One Piece didn't have nearly as much filler as Dragon Ball. Am I going crazy? You would just hit flick where? Dragon Ball has a lot of fit. Oh yeah. I don't think if I was to start watching that, I don't think I could watch it now nowadays. It's only because it was on when I was a kid, so it worked. But I, all right, Carlos, see you later. They, uh... On the topic of Dragon Ball, they're coming out with a new series. They haven't said when, but... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> They are, they announced it, uh, I think last week, or this week. The premise for it, I'm just not... They're still going, yeah, so the current thing is Dragon Ball Super, which takes place at the end of Dragon Ball Z. And before GT, so they, they're filling in that gap. But then this new show they've announced is just this whole new thing, and it just looks like it like it's almost like they're trying to redo Dragon Ball GT which yeah, I, I don't know <laughs> struggling with life on this game what are you up to in this game quiet star I am looking for a villager so I don't know what villager I haven't seen all the Animal Crossing villages I'm just Going on trips, and then if I see something I like, I'll, I'll take it. I've completely 
change the back of my island, so that was my last thing that I did. Okay. Plot and storage. That's my next Nook Mile thing. Okay. Well, this is nice because now I know how to do this. Um, sell a item. No problem. Where is wooden chest? As far as number of episodes are up to, I have no idea. It's... I mean, Dragon... Because it's different series, technically. And I think Super ended at like a hundred, so... You don't know what you want your Ion's layout to be. You have to cover it in black rose. You have a lot of costume flooring and walls to make it. You need a suitable furniture from your house. You're trying to get three villagers to leave your island. Oh, the three villager thing. Kind of same. But I had, uh... Three. I've gotten rid of one. There's still another two left. As far as layout goes... I sort of decided the very back part of the island just hollowed out and turned into a bunch of lots so I think I'm just gonna give each villager a dedicated piece of land and I'm just gonna make it look good. I don't have a theme I guess I'll just wing it. I'll go I'll drive myself crazy if I come up with a theme because then I have to look for specific items. So, <laughs> oh, oh, that was fortunate. Um, yeah, I'm winging it. I, I probably could have caught it, but man. Okay. It's fairly decent. Um, I'm gonna pop in just to the, uh, the town hall. Just to get a... a tree. Because I can do the planting stuff. <laughs> on the random islands I visit, so then I don't have to plant it here. Ah, oh, they don't have one. I'll buy one. We have work in an hour after working six in the morning yesterday to one in the morning. What? Six in the morning to one in the morning. How many hours is that? Shit. Okay, uh, it doesn't matter, just give me that one. Yeah, I don't blame you. That's that's a lot. Alright. 
Come on, villager. You might just call off and deal with the consequences. I mean, you can always say you have something like gastro, for example. That's an illness that pretty much disappears overnight. That was my go-to if I ever needed a night off when I really, really needed it. And it's not something they can really question either. It's just like, well, you're fine the next day. And they don't really want to know about the details either. It's just like, well, when someone has that, it's a kangaroo. I'm good. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's not like employers are going to ask for proof that you have gastro. It's like, you don't go to the doctor for it. It's just, it usually wears off pretty quickly. And if they start asking questions, you just make it awkward and go, oh, you want to know how much I've spent, how much time I've spent in the bathroom? Do you want to do, do you want to go into the specifics of that? And they usually back off. It just depends on the kind of relationship you have with your employer. But some of the bad jobs I've had in my life, <laughs> yeah. Am I gonna pass on the kangaroo? Yeah, because look. I don't know, there's just something about them visually I don't like. I had one on the other island that I had. I got two koalas, that's fine. My island is Australian as it's gonna get. I love that you can do this. If you don't want to plant stuff, just bring it to a random island. The boss shouldn't care who better not. You've been working the place since you're 15, 22 now. And not once have you called it off. Oh, well then, that's fine. I mean, look after yourself above everything else. I mean, it depends, right? If you feel like you can be honest and just say, hey, listen, like, I really, really need a night off. Just, you know, it'd be good for my mental state to just be able to let my body recover, right? And if they're open to that and wouldn't really question it, then just be honest about it. Yeah, thankfully where I work, I can I can be like that. I don't have to lie about anything. It's just I I can be honest. That is what PTO is is for. Just there's I don't know, man. There's just some employers that just get really shitty if you suddenly need a day off. It's just like life's so chaotic. You can't plan things weeks in advance. Like sometimes stuff happens. You know? Sometimes your day can be perfectly fine. And then it's just a result of just having a bunch of stuff to do that makes you tired or just, you know, not into it. I don't know, especially if your job is customer facing, would you want someone facing customers who isn't 100%? I mean, or at the very least, 80%. <laughs> I don't think I was ever 100% working in retail. Times like this, if you do end up taking the day, it 
just, uh... I would recommend doing as little as possible. There's something to be said about doing nothing. You deal with a lot of people as a way to- oh, yeah. No, hospitality. Definitely. I have a lot of friends in the hospitality industry. My dad did those kind of jobs as well, so... I could see some days just... yeah. Not the greatest thing. People can be just... The worst. And though I've never really worked in hospitality, the closest I got was fast food as a teenager, and that was horrible. It just depends on the clientele, like... Okay, well I got another fossil. I'm not taking the kangaroo. Shocking, I know. I'll make another axe while I'm here, actually. Shit, that reminds me, I need to watch the new Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> I might watch it after the stream. We'll see. Depends how late I go. Wait a minute, is this another... I think this is another island with the water bugs. Yeah, I mean... At the end of the day, you know, pick what is best for you, but... It sounds to me that you should take the day. Especially given the sheer quantity of hours you would have just finished working. In some ways, when the human brain is tired, it's just about as bad as a human brain that's tipsy. In some ways, not all. And I know this because I've experienced this firsthand. Like, in my final week of university, just had a bunch of assignments due. It was just the, the week from hell. And just spent, in what, in three nights I had slept six hours, something like that. And so I was just powering through it, trying to get my final assignment done. Anyway, I went to university with, um, a goth dude. And so, he does the full thing, you know, wears the makeup and, yeah, just dark clothing. As goth as you can be. So, I'm at university finishing my assignment, and he's there. And I'm like, oh. Huh, that's weird. Okay, he's not wearing makeup today. I mean, he, to be fair, he had done that before, right? So, I finished my work, whatever. Go submit it. I come back to say bye to people. And mid-conversation with the guy, it's like my brain just suddenly became clear. And all of a sudden, makeup appeared on his face. Like, my brain just could not see him properly. And for, for maybe 15 seconds, I just crystal clear, so, oh shit, no, I need to go to sleep. 
so I slept for 14 hours after that and then was sick for three days afterwards. Anyway, I say this as just a long-winded way of saying get some rest. Was he pretty in makeup? He was goth in makeup. That's about all I can say. Wait, you had eight Karens trying to get free food because they didn't like a specific ingredient that they knew was in it, but didn't specifically say they didn't want it. Oh boy. Yeah. Then you had a pervy ass group of guys throw their money on the floor so one of the waitresses would bend over to pick it up. Ugh. I think it was just coincidence. I don't think this is a water bug island. Um, I have some family friends that work in in restaurants, particularly um, Mexican ones or South American ones. And the amount of times you just get a Karen, like on the menu, it warns you if things are spicy or if things have cilantro in them. And the amount of times, like they'll order something and then complain that it's either spicy or has cilantro in it and then try to pull that shit. Ugh. So. Yeah, Mex a good Mexican restaurant is great. Don't like cilantro. I mean, that's fair. It's a gen it's one of those things that's it's just a 50-50 chance. It'll either taste good to you or it'll taste like soap. Can't help it. Your grandma lives in Mexico or lived in Mexico and she makes a lot of her meals from scratch. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, my family's uh Salvadorian, so at some point I need to learn how to make certain foods. Not all of them, but I should try and learn off my mom, because she grew up being the cook in her family. Just had to take care of uh, my aunts and uncles. I know how to cook, but I don't know how to I don't know how to cook the food she cooks. So she laughs at me and says that I can't cook. <laughs> You suck when it comes to the stove, but you're really good at baking. Baking is a skill that I respect. Because with cooking, if you mess something up, generally speaking, there's unless you burn it, there's a way you can bail yourself out. If something's too sweet, you can balance it. If something's too spicy, you can balance it. There's always a way. Unless you burn it, you can end up with something mediocre, and it'll be okay. But when it comes to baking, if you mess it, if you mess it up, that's it. There's no coming back from it. It's gone, and that can happen at any point in the process. I'm not. I just don't have the patience for baking. Unless it's just... <sighs> I can cook meats and stuff in the oven, that's fine. Or stuff like potatoes, that's easy. But actually making something like a cake... Or cookies or muffins, anything like that. You gotta cook for Thanksgiving this year. I might have to cook for Christmas this year. Because, um... 
usually there's a gathering at my aunt's house, but this year both my parents and my aunts are gonna be overseas, so it's just gonna be the cousins this year. So, amongst the cousins, the ones that can cook, me, my brother, and one of, yeah, one of the cousins. So it'll probably be the effort between us three. What am I gonna make? Well... I think... I'll make a bunch of chicken, I'm not kidding. I can make good ch like, I eat chicken, but I can also make good chicken. I mean, man, even the moths are okay. I'll figure it out, but... Like, I can do some pretty good, uh... It's like crispy chicken, but it's done in the oven, instead of frying it. I know how to do that really well. And there's also this, um... This, like, prawn alfredo that I know how to do that's pretty good. And it involves, um... Like, uh, using Jack Daniels. basically cook out the alcohol, it reduces, and then you kind of get this nice flavor out of it when you mix it with the cream. See, I'm fancy. I can be fancy. <laughs> if I had a pasta maker, I could make the pasta as well, but I'm just too lazy. How is deep dish pizza made? Because it's not something you find here in Australia. And I've always been curious. Today you made spicy ramen from scratch. Oh, ramen is like one of my favorite foods. Especially in winter. I don't know, there's just something about ramen that just puts me in a good mood. I just feel so relaxed when I eat ramen. It's a nightmare to make deep dish pizza? Okay. I will uh, avoid it. <laughs> Ah, that would have been good. Oh, I forgot to get the ticket. Okay, I should probably consider splitting my video soon. Obviously, I'm not going to find the village in, it, in this. But it's just so this doesn't end up as like four hours on YouTube later. Tea time. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Like, I'll probably just pause and record. Maybe some water. It's a little warmer now here, so I'm l I need to start making uh, iced tea. I just don't feel like uh, warming up right now. Chips. No, I'm good. I ate well for dinner.
I do have potato chips, though. <laughs> I managed to get some for $3 instead of the $6 that they're going for nowadays. Gotta get more fancy cheese. I have some cheese in the fridge. I never thought... I'd reach the point where I would have cheese in my fridge, like, non-standard cheese, you know? But it's just more cost-effective than potato chips are these days, it's just... I don't understand how that's become a thing, but it just is. Oh! It's Bla- oh, I like Blair. I forgot about Blair. I like their, uh... I'm starting to feel like a castle on a deserted island. Not lit. <laughs> Not lit. Oh, but... I like Blair, but the thing is I've had Blair before. Blair is on the other file. But... Good... Blair's a good choice. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, Alice was going to be the only repeat. That was the only one I insisted, so I'm... I'm gonna follow the rule I set, which was just Alice was going to be the only repeat. Because that's the villager I wanted. But, you know, let it be known that if I wasn't following that rule, I would take Blair. It's not that I don't want Blair on the island, it's just... Why Alice? Because I liked Alice. Alice... I don't know. Best Australian villager, I think. Just a nice looking koala. Alice is, uh... Oh. Never mind. Love cube. Oh, I haven't seen all the villages. Not sure cube is. Okay, well this is a quick island, so that's a shame. I I really I really feel bad, but it's just I want to not have the same ones. I'll show Alice. It only occurred to me that the koalas are named after Australian cities. Just recently. You have Melba. Yeah, Melba is after Melbourne. Alice is after Alice Springs. Yeah, this is Alice. She's just really polite and nice. Yeah. You like the colors? Same. I mean, another village that has nice colors is Audi. The only v so hang on, you have Marina, Cube, Rains, Hamlet. Tom, Lionel, Bangle. I think I know the last two. I haven't seen the rest. Maybe Hamlet. I may have seen Hamlet. And Colton. You love Colton. Okay. I know people like Colton. <laughs> but 
I don't mind Colton visually. It's a bit of a meme here. It's just... I played New Leaf for the first time, and I had Colton. So Colton walks up to me one day and goes, Hey, I have this item. Do you want to pay three times the amount it's worth? And in my head, I was like, why would he ask that? Oh, maybe he'll he'll either say, wow, just kidding. Or maybe he'll give me something else if I pay the three times. So I buy this item off him for three times what it's worth, several thousand bells. And then he goes, wow, I can't believe you bought that. And then he brought fleas to the island four times in a row after that. So he was just the plague horse. I had to quarantine him. And I have come across him twice in my search for a new villager. He has followed me to this island. He's so real for that. Yeah, I guess I'm the dumbass, huh? <laughs> for not questioning his motives. Oh dear. But I recognize that visually, yeah, Colton's fine. At least there's no fleas in New Horizons. There's fleas. There are fleas. Did I bring the ticket? I didn't bring the ticket, did I? I was complaining about Colton. Okay. There is, yeah. There are fleas. Give it time, you'll see him. See, the problem is I kind of have to commit to this, otherwise the house will get randomly filled tomorrow. It's okay. It's only 9pm here. Well, 9.30. You really want Ted and Grizzly. Good luck. I did not realize how much effort finding a specific villager is until I learned the sheer number of villagers there are in this game. <laughs> it's just... There's also this rhino for strawberry hat for a horn. Have I come across... I, I think I know who you're talking about. I may have come across that rhino. Daylight savings almost here, four hour difference. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll try my best to do a morning stream my time in the weekend, which would be like a sort of evening, late day stream. But. I just need to adapt to getting up <laughs> on the weekend. Uh, oh. It's a pink dog. Who is this? But I already have a dog. Wow, that's very wide eyed. That doesn't help when you're working. True. Cookie. Another pop star. Yeah. I 
I have a I have a dog on the island already. I guess that's the other thing I'm being a little particular about is I'm trying to not double up, with the exception of the koalas. Yeah. <laughs> I already have one bow wow on the island. It's okay, I still have tickets. You had all the cat designs. You're a big cat person, so it saddens you. I don't think. You know what's weird? I don't think I've ever come across a cat. In. This. Oh no, there was the one that. It was red. And it wore a football helmet. I think that's the only one I've seen. Kid Cat, or whatever it was called. For some reason, that I just don't see them. Kid Cat was alright. But in that island, I kind of went with the first villager I found. I nev never really went to the effort of trying to find anything. Okay, I have a backup. I'm doing this because the hot item sells for almost 4,000. So if I keep getting wood, I can sell more of those. That's, that's as, like, cute eyes as you can get. <laughs> that's like when you watch cartoons and... An animal is about to get hurt and then it does the cute eyes. And it's like, please don't hurt me. That's... that's the eyes right there. I'm gonna say no. Okay, nice. That paid for another ticket. So, I got the, uh, the nighttime ordinance on, so it's still a while before the shop closes, but I do have to make an effort to sell stuff before then. Yeah, 
you are. I'm saving the money as well because I want to, uh, pay for another one of the hard island things. I'm just gonna stash the rest. Have I done any of the DLC? I'm not gonna touch the DLC until I have my villagers because I'm worried that they might turn up on the island. Like one that I want. Even though I don't know what I want, I'm just worried that I'll go to the DLC island and then I'll see a villager and I'll be like, Oh, I want that! But then... I won't be able to find them. So let's just pretend the DLC doesn't exist until then. <laughs> okay, before I do this next island, I'm gonna do a small two-minute break. For two reasons. One, so then the video on YouTube doesn't get extremely long. And two, I just wanna... Uh, get some water, so. If you're watching this later on YouTube, this is where I say bye YouTube, but thanks for sticking around to the end if you're watching this later. And if you want to support the channel, uh, clickety click on the buttons, particularly the ones that have the thumbs up on them. It helps out a lot, thank you to those that do do that. Or you can watch whatever video has popped up as a recommendation, if you want to do so. Alright, till next time, bye YouTube.